Today, talking about my signature series model trombone. It's made by BAC, and I am very happy to have three of them here right now in all different configurations. Okay, so what you just heard was this bad boy right here, which is the gold brass stem, gold brass outer stockings, as well as the gold brass crook, and with a bronze eight and a half inch dial flare, which I absolutely love. Just something about this has a really dark, warm, spread, big projecting sound that, that I'm kind of going for. So, I really love this. This was kind of my default. I'm going to move on right now to number two. Let me grab it. Which is very similar, but has the eight and a half inch bell flare, but gold brass with the nickel crook. <laughs> Okay, I just really felt from the first note of how this was locking in. Um, that's why I just played some basic kind of scale patterns just going up and, um, and just seeing how it felt as the harmonics got a little closer together. And this feels super open, just like the first one, but very open, open in the upper register, open in the lower register. The response was really instant, almost felt like the notes were just spitting out. Um, the sound is slightly brighter because once again, we have the gold bus instead of the, the bronze eight and a half inch. Uh, bell flare, so it's slightly brighter. Maybe the the nickel crook had a little bit of something to do with it, but I just really love the way this one plays. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I notice is how the sound is darker on this one. We have actually. It's a different kind of shape of the sound, I should say. We have the copper crook, we have the red brass eight inch bell. So it's not as spread as my bronze one that we started with, but I, the, the sound is kind of just round and dark. Um, I know that the microphone is not gonna be picking up all these overtones, but I just promise you in person that it is dark. Um, and once again, just playing those lines, just, try, just, just kind of lent on a tune that we all know is kind of difficult lies a little bit uncomfortable on the slide and just seeing how it's popping out as I'm playing it. Something that I'm very used to playing, a melody like that, and then just seeing how it feels. And it's just coming out with ease. So I'm really, really happy with this one as well. Okay, so number three. And one thing I'm gonna mention that I haven't mentioned is actually the specs on this. We got, five, all of them are the same specs. 508 slide, and then as we get into the neck pipe, is when the magic happens and it starts to open up. So it's a hybrid, it's like nothing on the market. Um, the concept was, for me, for something that feels like a small bore, has that same shape of the note, where I feel like I can feel agile and fluid, but at the same time, getting the sound of something that's larger. And, and I really feel like we've accomplished that. The low end is really open, and the upper, register is really open too. So um, it's, for me, it's like the best of both worlds. Okay, right now, as you can see, we're in nickel heaven. We have the nickel outer stockings as well as the nickel flare. Let's see how it ends. <laughs> The 
response on this is just ridiculous. Um, the nickel really helps that. Notes are just flying out um, even faster than probably the other models. But once again, it's a little bit brighter. Would cut, would be very good for lead or maybe something Latin or something high and, and bright and sizzling. Um, not the exact sound I'm going for, although I really love the qualities that the nickel brings. <laughs> So I am super happy to have my name and honored to have my name on this horn. Um, if you have any questions or if you just wanna write comments on what you're hearing, please let me know. Uh, I'm in New York here, so I, I will have them at my place if you're ever in New York. Also, Mike is out in Kansas, so if you're in Kansas, I would recommend going to his shop. And if you're at none of those places, maybe we'll see you at NAMM in LA in January. Thank <laughs> you.